Now to a rare look inside North Korea from Jeffrey Fowle, the American father and evangelist held captive for nearly six months. He's speaking out for the first time since his release, revealing the surprising way he was treated, his fears about never getting out, and why he left that Bible behind. ABC's Bob Woodruff has our Sunday Spotlight. A homecoming in Ohio, nearly six months in the making. Jeffrey Fowl holding his three children for the first time since his release from detention in North Korea. Fowl had traveled to the isolated nation on a tourist visa and carrying a Bible. He'd come up with his own secret mission to leave the Bible in North Korea even though his wife asked him not to do it. I was motivated by the stories I'd heard of the severe persecution of the underground Christian church there. He was taken into state custody after he left the Bible in the bathroom of a club. The North Korean dictatorship prohibits religions not approved by the state. Two guys came up and said, is this your Bible? I said, yes. And they said, well, you'll come with us then. What did you tell them you were doing with that Bible? I admitted that I was going to leave it behind for a for a, hopefully a Christian to find. And while North Korea is notorious for its brutality towards political prisoners, surprisingly, Fowl said his jail was a luxury hotel, Yangak-do, which is where I have stayed at several times during my trips as a journalist. How did they treat you physically? Physically, I was not abused at all. I had three meals a day, and after I was there for about two weeks straight, that my interpreter would go out with me for a, about a 30, 40 minute walk. In July, Fowl spoke from his detention in North Korea, also known as the DPRK. I apologize to the people the government of the United States as well as to the people in government of the DPRK. It's a headache to, for them too. They wanted you to criticize the United, the United States, yeah, the government, yeah. what we're doing to yeah, That one, one statement in there did include the United States and its hostile stance against the DPRK. Do you think the U.S. is hostile? No. So you had to say something you don't believe? Uh, yeah. He is the third American to be held by North Korea recently, still in custody, Matthew Todd Miller and Kenneth Bay, a Christian missionary sentenced to 15 years hard labor for anti-state activities. Why is it that you were let go and not Miller and Bay? I ask that same question myself every day. Back home outside Dayton, Fowl vows no more secret missions. If you could do anything different, if you did this again, what would you do? Stay home. <laughs> Maybe. And I, I, I don't recommend doing this. I don't recommend anybody sneaking across the border with a sack full of Bibles or tracts or anything else. His family is just glad to have him home again. For this week, Bob Woodruff, ABC News, Lebanon, Ohio.